Welcome to episode 3 of my DIY square drop trailer build. In this episode, we're going to make some changes to the trailer while it's still easy to do. We're going to move the door to the rear of the trailer and we're going to move one of the windows forward to allow for an outdoor kitchen to swing down from the side of the trailer. So let's get started. So the idea is we have a door step that folds down here to the ground and the door that folds up here so you can step in walk in the bed could be up there fully made or not or I could do a single bed that pulls out like they do in some conversion vans I have more than enough room for 80 inches for the bed and then I could put some closets here for storage closets and that would give me a place to store my gear for riding the dirt bike. I think that's the way we're going to go. So I got the, the trailer jack, um, I went way overkill on this, it's uh, ARC, Australia's toughest versatile off-road trailer jack, so I went kind of nuts on this. It's just temporarily on, it'll allow me to move it around the shop, it's really crooked, <laughs> but that's alright for now. I gotta re raptor line all this anyway, so I just, I just got it on temporarily. So from this angle, you can see the changes I made. It's a little better. I'll walk over there. The entry is now here. So we get in. I ain't doing it now because it'll probably pop right up. Oh yeah. So. Entries here, window there, window there, kitchen fold out on the side. So along with the changes I made to the, the back door, moving the door to the back, I moved this window forward. But I also want a box, an accessible box here. So I gotta cut this and this and this frame across here just so I have an opening. So I guess we're gonna do some welding today.
So I got these removable safety chain holders. We're gonna go there. Lock and roll is gonna go there. So I should have put them on before I raptor lined this, but uh, we got a, there's a bunch of touch-ups I got to do anyway, so that is step number three for the day, is to put these on. So I guess I'll get the grinding. Originally going to be a step, but since I moved the door and back, it's not a step now. Now it's just a tree, tree pusher. It'll still be a step to get on the roof, but I've been fighting with this for a while. Trying to get it straight. which is going to be right here, here, open down with a table, place to put the grill, pull out sink, a hole for a sink, just a board that comes out, you put a collapsible sink in it, but I need to figure out some backing for it. This isn't a window anymore, that window over there. Doesn't need to be an spectacular screw to. So I got these one by three quarter <clears throat> metal angles. Just really light gauge, but it's weldable and I can put some weld nuts on the back. problem with trying to plan everything ahead of time because once I get the siding on I don't want to be welding inside so that's what I'm working on now is in for the kitchen box and we got the ooh, tight wrong side and we got the weld nuts in some weld in it. That's pretty much 
pretty good. So that does it for episode three of the DIY square drop trailer build. Next time we'll be fabricating a propane tank holder. I have to fabricate that first so I know where to put the backing in the trailer. And then after that, it would be wiring and raptor lining the frame again. And on we go. I really appreciate the new subscribers in the comments. Please comment below if you have anything to add. Like, share, subscribe if you feel like it. And we'll see you on the next one probably in another two weeks. Thank you.